Henry County families, I am back with you for another Friday update. And today, I want to acknowledge the reality of growing COVID-19 concerns, how it is impacting our schools, and how we are diligently monitoring everything. It is hard to believe that we have made it to the final month of what is sure to be the most memorable year in recent history. Despite all that has been unusual, uncommon, and unprecedented about this year, Henry County Schools has kept its focus on our students, our families, and our employees. As we closed down the last school year and set our eyes ahead to this current school year, we knew that it would require all of us to work hand in hand to reopen school campuses, to offer families a choice of how they learn, and to prepare our workforce to meet this unchartered objective. Of course, we have not been able to operate unilaterally in this work, given the role that schools play in the health, the wellness, and the strength of our greater community. So we have consistently integrated our preparation and our management activities with our Piedmont Henry hospital officials, our local pediatricians, and our Department of Public Health officials. As always, I invite you to visit the district website to view the reopening playbooks for HCS, where you will find all of the commitments to enhanced safety protocols, facility modifications, and COVID-19 mitigation strategies. The good news is that our efforts are working. We have successfully been open since September 28th, and now we offer a five-day on-campus option for the 41% of families who have chosen that option. To date, we have not closed a school or a grade level at any one of our schools, thanks to the vigilance of our community to keep Henry healthy. Now, paramount to our reopening plan was our readiness to respond anytime there is a student or staff member who has been on a school campus that reports a positive diagnosis. I meet daily with our executive team to review each and every positive case that is reported and I examine every implication for close contacts. We continue to report the positive cases that impact a school facility and the resulting close contacts that have been identified on our district website. We certainly wish all of this to be resolved, and we care deeply about the health of every person in our school community. And we also stay abreast of the health and wellness of those who contract COVID out of our deep care and concern. I also want to use this time, though, to share that in most instances, the report of a positive COVID diagnosis is a result of an exposure that occurred outside of school. The practice occurring on our school campuses of maintaining responsible distance, wearing masks, and washing our hands is proving to minimize the spread of COVID in schools. So while the rising cases of COVID-19 are impacting the county, the state, and the nation, we are actually seeing steady weekly totals for the positive cases on our school grounds. And although we do not include remote learners on the positive case report you can find on our website because they have not been in contact with our school facility, we do monitor the instances when a remote learner reports a positive diagnosis. So I also want to encourage all of our families opting for remote learning to continue to follow those recommended health guidelines and continue to take extra precautions in your home. And although I share your growing concern of rising cases, I am pleased to report that 97% of our more than 17,000 students who have opted to be on campus have actually had an uninterrupted schooling experience since late September. I invite you to visit our website weekly to see the trends of COVID-19 throughout our community and to then review the report of positive cases that directly affect Henry County Schools by looking at the HCS data, either as a district or as a cluster or even by the individual school. The data reported also includes an incidence rate for the county and then also for the school system. And as you can see, the incidence rate of the school system remains below the incidence rate of the county, making a school campus one of the safest public spaces in any community. As we begin to look toward January, the Board of Education has made a commitment to continuing the on-campus and remote option for families for the remainder of the school year. 
Now, families who wish to change their child's selection at any time can do so by contacting their local school. As a community, each of us is integral to keeping Henry healthy. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. Continue your home health screening and stay home from school if you are not feeling well. If you've had known direct contact with a person who has tested positive for COVID, or if you yourself are awaiting your own results of a COVID test. Henry County, we've got this. We are monitoring daily, working daily, and adapting daily. And we will continue to keep you informed. Thank you for your partnership, your confidence, and your continued faith that the best possible place for any student to receive an education is in a Henry County classroom, on campus, or remote.